Hello, hello, Bethany here with Just Be Scrap. Welcome. Um, today I'm going to share another walkthrough of a junk journal that I made. Um, this one I also made about a year and a half ago when I first learned um, Nick the Booksmith's course on booksmithing. Um, a booksmither. I can't remember exactly how she phrases it, but it's a great course. I have learned so much from this lady. Um, I have done a ton of these um, hardback tomes, and I've also incorporated what I've learned from her with other um, journal making that I do. So I want to walk you through this one. This is my traveler. Um, he's about seven by five, I think, roughly in there. Um, he is a hardback. And uh, I did a curved spine on him. Again, I have that braided trim down here. It kind of gives it that old world look, I think. This one is done in a brown, but it's got a hint of a gold over the top. And then you can see the lighter bits and pieces that I, you know, just dry brushed on. Um, he is a four signature book. And... On my end pages, again, I use the Tim Holtz paper. This is a newer paper uh, line. I'm not sure which one it is, though. I apologize for not knowing that. I did not do anything spectacular on the um, end pages. Um, I just left them blank. There's lots of tuck spots and things inside of it, as you'll see as we go through it. But this one was just, um, I had more of a travel theme in mind, which is why it says travel right here. Um, and I've added a little bit more of the embellishments than I normally would, um, just because I do think they go, it goes well with that whole travel theme. So as we get into the book, this one's also a little bit more on the masculine side. I left off a lot of the frills and the sewing and stuff like that because it's, um, I was at a craft fair last year and I had a lot of requests. I had three or four requests for something more masculine. So this is my take on more of a masculine look. So here I have added in a stamped piece with a coffee pin. Here is the words to find for a word search that I've included. I did do little bits of pieces here and there like that. There's that word search, it folds out. And there's two. So there's one and then there's the other and then the words were on that first page, one and then two. Um, here's what I did for stitching. So I stitched in this little tag. That's it. I did do a little ephemera work on it or not ephemera, collage work on it and stitched it down the side of the tag. Added just a little bit of a top, you know, tag part of it. Um, in this one, I have lots of these little, oh, calendar pages from an old calendar that I didn't end up using. Right here is a pin that I've just stuck a bulb clip on, and then I've tucked in a couple of um, stamped pieces. Here's another one. Um, this is from a calendar I explained in my last video. I had a calendar that um, gave me a new word every day to extend my vocabulary. And on it came these little ticker boxes for, um, you know, doing like a checklist of sorts. So I thought that would be really neat to put in, you know, maybe all the places you want to go or maybe do like a photo list of all the things you want to take a photo of. So that'd be really cool for a traveler's book. You could even do like what to take on your trip to make sure you have everything packed. So lots of ideas for that page. Um, and then this could be like what you want to do for each day. Like this would be the date and then where you go for that date. Um, and then you can't do a traveler's notebook without the little airmail envelope. So that comes off and then you can stick stuff inside of it. Another one of my sewn in tags. And then there's that other piece of that calendar that I was telling you where it tells you a word to learn. <laughs> I like those. I'm a word girl, so. I like to pretend that I write, even though I really don't write, but I'm trying to write a little bit more, so, yeah. And then just big clips in here, too. Here's another one of those crossword pages that has the double. This one actually has the words with the puzzle, which I like a little better, um, but I only found it once, and I should have bought a couple of those, and I did not. So if I ever come across one of those again, I'm going to get more. <laughs> 
and then um, lots of tea dye. Here's another one of my stamped images I added in with a, an arrow this time. Some notebook paper, some regular paper. Here's another one of crosswords. And then, so just in a collection of paper, an eclectic grouping here, lots of different things. Um, there's the dictionary page that I love. And so, yeah, that's the traveler's notebook, I guess, if you, if you will. Um, there's a little pocket to throw some stuff in. So, yeah, that's what I have here on the traveler's um, junker. Um, like I said, he's a great piece. Um, I do have him uh, listed in my Etsy right now. My Etsy shop is Just Be Scrap. The B is capitalized. Um, you can also find me on my blog, which is um, justbescrap.blogspot.com. Um, if you want to leave me a comment or have any questions, you can also, of course, reach me right here on YouTube. I would love to hear from any one of you. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.